Hello everybody, I am back today. We're going to make some coasters. These are just going to be fun, kind of bright colored, maybe for summer, just fun and bright and um, pretty beginner friendly if you're just beginning with resin. So I got these coaster molds here that come with the stand and I haven't used them before, but um, I decided to do something kind of fun with these. So what I did is I put just a really thin layer of clear resin in the bottom of all of these, okay? And, um, and they are cured. And so what we're going to do is I've made up eight ounces of J. Diction resin. And I've got some little paper cups here um, already out. And what we're going to do is take this, like confetti glitter that I got from, um, these actually came from Tamu. Okay, but aren't they just bright, kind of vibrant, fun colors? And so what we're going to do is we're going to make each of these coasters in a different color, and then I thought I would do a different color, um, one of each of the glitters in the stand. Okay, and I might just make the bottom clear, kind of thinking about that part. But um, I'm going to estimate that these are going to take only maybe about an ounce or so each. I don't think it's gonna take too much more than that. So that's about what I'm gonna start with in here. About an ounce each, let's see. Gosh, is that gonna be enough? Maybe an ounce and a half. Okay, that's about right. Okay, so now what we're gonna do so we're gonna just mix a bit of this in each one of these cups. Got a few micro bubbles in there right now, but that's okay. Let's see about how much that is. Really a pretty kind of a pretty blue. This is about how much we've got. Bring the spoon up. That might be, that might be about right. Let's see if we'll do about that much in each one, I think. I'm just kind of, kind of, uh, just kind of winging it here with my amount. I'm going to wipe my stick off each time so I don't get the colors blended together. I don't really want that. I want them to each be really vibrant and separate colors. Okay, I'll let this sit and kind of let the, let the, bu the bubbles kind of rise up from that. I'm using not sure if I already said, but I'm using J. Diction resin, which has definitely been my go-to resin here for the last few months, at least, maybe even a little longer. Wipe the stick off. Yeah, these are kind of just really fun, bright colors. And I was trying to think of something fun to do with them. And you know, coasters are always a nice, a nice go-to if you really don't know what else you want to do. I do coasters and jars and <laughs> little things like that that are usable. Um, these are, uh, see, this is kind of the, um, this is more of like a sapphire blue. Um, but I'm still here in Oregon, and I've got a little table and two chairs set up in my room. Um, oh, we're just overlooking a really pretty area of my daughter's yard. And um, I thought it would be nice to have a little just fun set of coasters for that table. It is wood, a wooden table, so, you know, you don't want to set your cold or even... For me, I don't even like to set my hot drinks down on a table without a coaster. I don't know how you all are with that, but 
you know, bear on the side of caution with some of that. Okay, I think that's about all I'm going to do with this, guys, as far as the glitter part. I feel like we've got all of our distinct colors there, kind of bright and vibrant. I'm going to go ahead and spray a bit of um, these all over here where you can see them. This is my 91% isopropyl alcohol. Going in each cup, do a, a faint. I'm going to go back about a foot, spray over the top of my coasters here that are already cured. And that's to prevent any bubbles, you know, forming here around the edges. So let's go ahead and start with this. this is the color that we just kind of began with. And it's going to kind of pour this in. Just want it to be kind of evenly distributed. Wow, that is going to be really pretty. Really kind of this holographic uh, glitter. It's pretty. And because it's kind of a bigger glitter, it um, just kind of doesn't tend to float all around. Or, you know, it's kind of seeming like it's just kind of staying in that spot. So I've got just enough uh, left over room left over here to put a backing on it if I want, or even just maybe a clear. Uh, I might just even come in and do clear. I don't like to feel the glitter coming up through the top or the bottom of my of my projects. I don't know what it is. I, I guess it's just kind of a personal thing, but it really, I don't like the feeling of it. So a bit more and I match up to the other one here. I'm just kind of eyeing it as far as how much I'm putting in, just leaving just a little bit of a rim left over. Okay, but aren't those so pretty so far? And here's my gold. This one I was a little bit worried. Oops, see I got a little, spill it a little bit here. Get that out of there. Get the gold in here. Might have to add a little bit more resin to do my um, to do my leg in this one because I somehow that did, just did not mix up as much. Somehow I didn't pour as much uh, clear resin into this cup, even though I thought I had that all kind of measured out, but it is not a big deal. Easy to fix. Okay, let's see. It's about the same. Go here with my blue. That one kind of even out a bit. Let's see how we're doing. Wow, these are just really pretty. I will bring it up here and show you each one. I'm not sure if you can see it real well. There we go. There we go. That's um, just about the same all the way around. I'll bring these up so you can see them a little closer. Here's the gold, really pretty. All that kind of holographic color. This is kind of a really pretty, uh, what do you, what would this be? That color, I'm not sure, kind of a hot pinkish purple. Here's kind of this oceany aqua bluish, kind of almost like a Tiffany blue. Then here's this more kind of a sapphire navy blue. Really pretty. Okay, so let's um, let these just sit here a minute. And let's work on our little legs here. So we'll go ahead and go in with this is the turquoise color. Whoops, actually, you know what? Just realized I'm gonna go ahead and spray a bit of alcohol in each leg and go ahead and do one more in each cup. Kind of go over the tops of those. I do expect some bubbles to come up because I feel like about any time that you're working with glitter of any kind or confetti, um, you are going to probably get some bubbles to come up. So they do get trapped in there. And these I'm going to try to go all the way to the top of the leg. I don't want to go over that. I don't want the colors to all run together. I want them to kind of be separate. I think I'll put this other shade of blue over here at the other end. There we 
we go. And I think I'll do that gold last just because I am kind of worried about maybe having to fill that in a little. Okay. That's looking pretty good. Okay, good luck with this one. It might be just about enough, actually. Let's see here. Gosh, almost. Maybe if I scrape out the cup, I might get just enough. It's going to be really close. Oh gosh, you guys, that was exactly, worked out just about exactly right for this gold. Okay, see that? It's barely, just really didn't have anything left over from that one. Okay, so now I'm going to let this all cure before I do whatever I do for the base of this. So we're going to come in, do another spray over the coasters. Kind of faint. There we go. Gosh, this is going to be really pretty, you guys. Fun and just really pretty. I'm excited about these. Okay, so now I've got a little bit of resin. Oh, you know what I don't have is my puffy heart mold here with me in Oregon. Gosh, that kind of makes me sad that I forgot that. So let me find just a little quick mold, something to put this in. Let me see. What do I have? Well, this is the only thing I can find right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and use this. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and use up the rest of our of our resin here. Really like these little faceted uh, molds that are just little tray molds, but they're great for a large coaster and it's what I've got on hand. So let's see, maybe I want to pour it in. I think maybe I'll just pour it in and kind of blend it. Is that what I want to do? I think it is what I want to do. So we're going to go with this color first into the middle. So pretty. It's always kind of fun doing something spontaneous with your leftover resin too, I find. Okay, I'm going to kind of just let this slide around the bottom. I noticed my J-Diction resin does really well um, as a coaster. I don't have problems with it sticking to the bottom of my heated cup. Um, some other resins I've used in the past have had problems with that. And so I really appreciate that they have kind of a, a little bit of a higher heat resistant. Okay, even this, look at, even this is just really pretty, right? Okay, so now I'm gonna take just a little bit of clear, go down the center. So we can spread that out a little bit. And then next we're going to do this blue. Okay, push all that out to the edge. Okay, and give it a quick spray of alcohol here. Over all the tops. You know, I've got about one ounce left of my eight ounces that we made up, okay? So I'm gonna scoot this out of the way. I'm gonna bring this back over. I'm gonna give it a spray of alcohol. I've got some some uh, bubbles coming up on the edges. And then I'm going to go ahead and pour this in. Now I might get what I wasn't going to do. You know, I always do this to myself. I said I wasn't going to blend this, but I don't want to waste this resin. And I don't want to mess with any of these. Okay, I don't want them to um, 
I don't want to have big clear centers in the, any of these. I want them to stay like they are. So we're going to go ahead and pour. I'm going to find my little spot here at the X. Right here is the center. I'm just going to pour kind of slowly right there and see what happens with, with this kind of spreading out. If I go slowly, it might just kind of fill in a little bit better and maybe not bring the glitter out to the middle. But we'll see what happens with it. Need one of my these spatulas to get this all out of here. Okay, so far the glitter is staying put in all of the legs. There we go. Okay, so we have used all eight ounces of our resin, and I'm gonna need, oh, I think only, well, maybe about uh, four, probably four to six ounces to come in and finish off all of this since I added this in. Okay, and so let me grab this out of here real quick. That pink out of there. There we go. All right. Gosh, we've got a, kind of a really colorful, fun, bright thing going on here. And excited about this. Let's give it a quick spray. All right. And we are going to let it cure. I'll be back to do the next step. Okay. I will see you all then. Hello everybody, I am back and we have our, let's see if I can get this uh, fluorescent light up above me and I, I realized earlier that I had a glare kind of the whole time through those bottom pieces. So I'm gonna move that out of the way a bit. Um, okay, so these are not hard cured, but they are definitely firm, sticky cured, okay? If I poked a stick in there, it would definitely still be a big, hard, gooey mess. So that's kind of right where I wanted it for this next step. Um, so I've got eight more ounces of J Diction resin made up here. I think I decided that I probably only needed about four to six ounces, but um, I just wanted to make sure that I have plenty. And what I've decided to do is go ahead and finish off my coaster set with clear. Okay. I just really kind of like the way these have are. Um, are turning out they're just really pretty all the holographic um, chunks of glitter there and um, this one this faceted sided one five inch I'm gonna do that one with a black background okay so we'll kind of get the best of both worlds see what we which one we like better for future reference and um, got a few micro bubbles in here but this is so thin that it's not gonna take much of a, just a bit of alcohol to um, get those out. I'm gonna go ahead and give a, from a distance, like spray over my already curing, some in there. And I'm gonna go ahead and pour, and I'm gonna kinda try to bend down here a bit and see what I've got. I don't wanna go over on these, but I definitely wanna go all the way to the top. Gosh, just adding that, that layer this top layer here just gives it even so much more depth than it already had. So pretty. It's not going to need much here. Okay, so we kind of topped this one off and that was barely, that was barely anything. That was not even a half an ounce. Let me see if I can put just a tiny bit more in here. Okay, let's see. I was hoping to get at least a half an ounce in there. That was, well, I don't know, maybe about a third of an ounce. But I'm going to let that finish kind of um, leveling out. We'll go ahead and do all the rest of these. So pretty. And I don't know which side we're going to use for the top, but that's one nice thing about doing the clear, uh, the clear base is you can just decide when this is all done, after we take them out, which side we like better. 
I will probably just use little rubber bumper feet on these coasters. I'm not going to put cork. Since I'm doing a clear background, I want to keep it that way. So let's kind of help this out a bit. Just want to get into all these little, these little corners here. See if I need to add any. That one, I definitely need to add. I think this one too. Okay, so let's keep going. That's going to go and I'm going to let it kind of self level these four. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm also going to just do clear on this. And we'll go ahead and finish this off. Now I've been seeing everybody um, using their bubble, their little small bubble machines. Um, and I'll tell you, I can't seem to get one. I've tried to email them and say, hey, I would like to order one. And I can't seem to get anybody from their company to email me back. <laughs> so they're probably not um, ready. I, I saw their orders are on pre-orders. But gosh, I'd sure like to be using one with my projects right now. I don't know how much longer I'll have to wait for that. But, um, but just know that I'm hoping to get one of those soon. As soon as they give me the thumbs up to order it, I will be doing that. I'm going to move these over to my heat mat, to my Let's Resin heat mat. See if I can kind of get that. Well, actually, you know what? That doesn't really make too much sense on this one. I just want to make sure that one is nice and square. But we can go ahead and move these over. See if we can get these to cure a little quicker. I would love to be able to unmold these tonight, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Okay, let's see here. Okay, so now that took mm, a little more than three and a half ounces to finish off those tops and the coaster holder. So we've got a little bit more than four ounces, and I think that's going to be more than enough to do this. All right, let's give this a go here. All right. So now what we're going to do is we are going to add our black. Get this out. I've got this is my Sig Wong mica powders. Really enjoying these. Let's see here. I did not bring my black India ink with me. So I'm going to just be using just mica powder. I think this could be really pretty with the black background. Better make sure I've got a dry craft stick here. Whoops, <laughs> I almost dipped into the wrong one. That would have been messy. Okay, so let's do, we're going to need probably quite a bit. I'm going to do... Gosh, about two and a half big scoops. See how that goes. Okay, here's our black. Pretty black. I don't think it's going to be too translucent, so give a quick spray. Spray in here. And let's go ahead and pour this, and I'm hoping this will be just about enough to cover this tray. See here, I don't want to. I don't want to go over. I better be careful, or I'm gonna let's see. I'll let that kind of even out for a second. All right, I'm gonna place this also over on my heat mat. The bottom of this is almost cured, so it makes it a little easier to move it. Hello, everybody. I'm back this morning. It is nice and cured. Everything's so bright and fun. Let's get it out of here. And um, see how these have turned out on the other side and without the white background of the mold. Oh my gosh, how pretty are these? Gosh, really pretty. So, you know, we've got about the same look on both sides. Just super pretty and simple. This would make such a fun, cute gift, especially if you're new to resin. 
um, or even if you've been doing resin for a long time, gosh, these are just really fun and pretty. Be a cute um, birthday coasters or holiday, maybe 4th of July. Gosh, they're just super fun and pretty. So I like, so far I'm thinking, I'm liking the um, bottom side, the part that's that's touching this the best just because it feels a bit more domed. And um, I think this will be the tops. There's certainly nothing wrong with the bottoms. They're slightly domed as well. But um, gosh, really you could just do it either way and almost not even notice the difference. Uh, yeah, oh my gosh, so pretty. Really super, super pretty. And I'm really glad that I kept these translucent with nothing on the back. Yeah, for these, I think these are just perfect the way they are. Super fun, super kind of boingy and glittery. These are the octagon shaped molds. You can get these on Amazon or on uh, Timu. But gosh, so pretty. Okay, now let's get our, let's get our um, stand out of here. Hopefully it'll come out okay. I have to put a bit of alcohol down into these feet because it's kind of an awkward shape to try to unmold this. Sometimes it kind of helps to break the seal around it. Let's see. Get my, my alcohol. 91%. Don't like doing a whole lot of alcohol anymore. Usually just water or a little bit of soapy water, but this is the only spray bottle that I brought with me. So we'll just use it. Oh, looks like it's a bit bendy still. It's okay. Might actually help me get this out of here a little easier. There we go. Get this one out. Alcohol definitely helps. Need to grab a paper towel and get those all, get the alcohol off of here kind of quickly though. Can discolor it or it can leave it sticky. Um, so be careful with that. Just to be aware. Okay. Okay. So here's this. I like how this is going to be, and this is going to um, straighten up no problem. But here's the bottom. Isn't that kind of pretty? Actually, it's almost a cute little table if you had, if you've got little girls and they've got little dollhouse type things. What a cute little table that would make. Yeah. Okay. So um, there's that. Can turn this over. There's our stand. And let's put these in here and see how it fits. Gosh, fits perfectly. Just fits perfectly. There we go. Gosh, so cute. What do you guys think? It's just kind of fun. Fun, super easy. You know, not a whole lot of resin, but gosh. Um, yeah, that turned out super cute. Really, really cute. Okay, so I'm going to set this aside. I'm going to, because this one's just a bit bendy, I'm going to go ahead and set it over here. So now we did do this one with the black background. Okay, so let's get this out of here and see what the difference it makes with the black background compared to the translucent. All right, that little bead off of there. And this one does have the faceted edges. So, okay, good luck. I don't know what it's gonna look like. Let's see. Oh, wow, okay, so. That's really pretty too. So what this did is I feel like, gosh, it's super 3D looking. I don't know if you can see that in the camera. The black adds kind of a 3D effect. However, now you can see some depth down inside of here and the black kind of pushes that up. So I'm, I'm kind of torn between the 3D, the really cool 3D effect that you see down where there was some clear parts mixed, you know, when we poured the clear and then we put the, the um, 
confetti flakes. Um, I'm kind of torn between that, how that looks really cool with the um, black behind it and how I feel like almost in some ways the black just kind of pushed it up. It looks just more pushed up to the top. Whoops. Then this one does. But they're both really super cool. What do you guys think? Do you have a preference on this? Do you think they're kind of cool either way? Uh, it's really pretty with the colors mixed together in this one. I will say that. These are perfect for the coasters to have four separate colors on these coasters. No regrets there, none whatsoever. Um, I am a bit intrigued by this one. I'm not going to lie. So, yeah. Super fun. Super fun. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. And I hope that you had fun with this. I hope that it inspired you to try some fun, colorful coasters or something blingy that you wouldn't maybe normally do. Give it a try. Just have some fun with it. And anyway, thank you all. Have a great day. And I will see you all next time.